My name is Thea. I am from Myanmar and I'm the owner of the Little Myanmar. Little Myanmar restaurant I started open for 2022. I helped my mother for 18 years. I started cooking kitchen, helping to my mother. So all my recipe, my mother, my sister, my mother-in-law, whatever they cook homemade food, I learn it, I cook it. So, uh, but in Myanmar, I never do restaurant. <laughs> I never work in restaurant. My passion is the cooking. So whatever uh, my family, midnight or morning or whenever they hungry, I make whatever at home, I make it very easy. They like our homemade cooking. I don't change any recipe like American taste. Homemade. I feel like the food here is uh, authentic because I just arrived to the US like two months ago. So I've I haven't tasted any Burmese food in a while, so this actually feels like home because the taste and also the spices they use, they use raw ingredients that, that taste just like my country. Our mohenga, which is our traditional fish noodle soup, is very popular. It's also because it's a staple of every Burmese um, household that it's just very popular dish even in Burma so here people people want to try that and it's also been recommended by many food food bloggers and journalists so yeah that's our most popular one The Little Myanmar, I opened the grocery in the Jackson High. It is 2017. A Little Myanmar grocery 2021, fire burning down, I closed. And then I, I don't have business insurance, that's why I don't get nothing. So, uh, because I'm, uh, I came in this country for less than years ago, I don't know business insurance need. So this is my fault and uh, business loss. Yeah, it was really bad. It was, um, you know, she was crying and everybody was crying and we thought we would get like some things back but we got nothing back, like everything was burned down. Um, and yeah, we didn't have an insurance so that was really like, horrible too. So we were just left with, you know, a huge loss. We would like to expand as much as possible. We feel bad when like, when customers come in a rush hour and they don't have enough seating because we're very tiny. And when we get reservations, we cannot accommodate more than like 10 people at once. So we, we want to solve that problem, we want to expand. I cannot add my menu because we don't have space. So I have idea for in street food in Myanmar, very famous street food barbecue like I want to add that I cannot do this restaurant so maybe in future my plan I open I, if I have chance I can open new location it's, it's, it's our hope that even with our food that we can spread the message a little bit that people start to get a little bit of interest in the country and they want to read up and they want to spread their own message you know I think I think that's also part of our mission and I hope everyone could care about the world a little bit more.